All right, YouTube, time for an update on the BioCube. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, this is Brian coming at you, and uh, it's time to do an update on the 29 gallon BioCube. As you can see, it does look different. I have rescaped it. Um, I did not do a video on the steps of me rescaping it. I just didn't have time, and it wasn't. Uh, I just wanted to bang this out as quickly as I could. I had a lot going on, so I found uh, a spare half day or evening or whatever, and just went after it. So, apologize for that, but. It's been set up now for three weeks to a month and things are finally starting to settle in a little bit. So as you can see, um, I've got different um, rock in here now. I've got the uh, purple reef like I have in, 120, in my 125 gallon. I ordered extra because I knew I was gonna redo this tank. And I changed the structure so that it's more towards the right side of the tank and I don't know if you can really tell, but it's almost kind of like a convex or concave type cave that starts over on that side and wraps around with a nice ledge right there. I've added some corals and I moved over most of the other corals. As you can see, my torch is right here. Even though it's been about three weeks, this hasn't opened up as completely as it once was, but I'm not worried about it. And you can see right here, there's a bunch of area that has not opened back up, but it's doing fine. This hammer coral has opened better than it was in the other tank uh, as of maybe two days ago. It finally started. I was almost worried that I might lose it. The octospawn I had that wasn't doing good is starting to do better now that I've got it um, in this new tank. And I'm actually going to move it down next to this new octospawn because I think it's going to do better lower. But this thing is just awesome, this green octospawn here. Green star polyps, I put a little island of those right there. Um, up on top, I don't know what type, it's like a bird's nest or maybe it is a bird's nest and then this green kind of encrusting coral out doing well. I picked up this new leather and it's really in the last few days started coming in to its own and we're seeing a little bit of polyps, kind of a green polyp in there. Um, the toadstool I had before is kind of recovering and looking okay back there. My little teeny rose bubble tip anemone that just doesn't seem to grow is over there. I'm going to start spot feeding that and see what we can do. The uh, <clears throat> Duncan is doing really good. I fragged off a couple heads and gave them to my buddy Carl. And uh, it's starting to recover from that and open back up. Um, I'm kind of using this area here as what we'll call the zoa garden, I guess, if you will. So I moved all the zoas that I could um, successfully frag, as well as uh, one, actually two colonies of pallies, but I'm only going to keep this one. This one has absolutely no color and no use to me. So, And then the Monty, you can see back there, um, I moved it over, but there's a, it's got this white spot now on it, so I'm not sure what that's all about. And then my green trumpet corals, um, I had that really nice cluster. I moved a little bit of them over to the 125 and then the rest I put under here. And since, since I've got them in a more shaded area, their, their greener color is showing quite a bit better. They were more whitish and bleached out when I had them up high before. So they've already seemed to have been growing since I put them here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Fish-wise, I did add a red fire fish. He's up there. I added a cleaner shrimp and a fire shrimp because I had lost my old ones. Um, I haven't seen either of them for about a week now, so I'm assuming that something killed them. Because they would at least come out of hiding at mealtime, and they haven't. And then my uh, goby is still here with his pistol shrimp. He's doing real good. Added a little bit more in the way of cleanup crew because as I started taking out, you know, um, frags and rocks and everything, um, I found a lot of dead shells. 
So I got some more crabs and some more snails in here. As you can see, the diatoms have kind of grown in the sand bed, which is normal when you redo a tank, even though it's cycled and everything. Um, Aptasia, a little bit of it made it over on some of these zoas. Found a new piece, right? I'm not going to zoom in, but on this on this little chunk of zoa here. So I got to zap that with the Aptasia X. But yeah, overall, things are doing really good in this tank. Um, I'll continue to add some corals to this and let it just kind of mature and grow out um, as funds allow. But, uh, yeah, don't have much else to say about it. Um, one thing I will t mention really quickly, and if you're a regular subscriber, I'm sorry, I talk about this a lot lately, but I've recently started selling Southern Delight fish food. Uh, my business is called Aquatic Support Systems, and um, people in the freshwater and cichlid community, this is a food that that people have really known about for quite a while. I've been using it for like four years. Um, but it's uh, not as well known in the saltwater community and they do have, let's see if I can, they do have um, this one formula here called Marine Mix 1.0 is made specifically for marine fish, obviously. It's a one millimeter pellet and my fish just love it. Um, I'll do a quick feeding because it's that time of the day. They also have a couple other formulas that can be used for salt water too. One called Nano Krill. And uh, one called Veggie Krill. But uh, yeah, they're just, it's, it's a really good quality fish food. And people on the cichlid side of things have known about it. And um, quite a few people would agree that it's uh, top of the line fish food. Uh, so I wanted to throw that out there to you guys that maybe you might be looking for some new food for your reef tanks um, As far as a good dry food. Um, I've got it in bottles and um, my specialty though is we sell it at bulk um, in big um, big bags um, So hit me up if you're looking to try some Southern Delight um, the uh, my email address will be below in the comments and you can also check out um, our Facebook page, it's called Aquatic Support Systems, and uh, you can buy it directly on there or at least message me and we can work out, um, you know, multiple bags, whatever you need. So, anyway, with that being said, that's all I've got for you on this update. Uh, stay tuned for further updates on all my tanks. If you're new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe to uh, catch all my um update videos on all my types of tanks, both freshwater and saltwater. Try to do regular updates on everything. Um, and if you're a regular subscriber and watch my videos all the time, thank you. I, I really appreciate it and it's fun communicating with you guys over YouTube and also over on Facebook and stuff like that. So until next time, take it easy. Later.